today is a very fun video. <laughs> Today I'm going to be showing you my Sansevieri collection and just talking about some care tips that I have come to find work really well for my plants and would love to share with you. So let's start out with those care tips. The Sansevieria plant, or also known as the snake plant, um, sometimes the mother-in-law's tongue, just depending on which one you're talking about, but those are some of the more common names that you might recognize. This plant, or just really this entire plant family, is marked by its resilience. It's so tough. It can handle so much and so little, and that is one of the reasons that I love it so much. Oh, I just realized I'm missing one. There we go, now the gang's all here. So, care instructions that I have noticed work really well for my Sansevieria. Let's talk about light. This plant can handle low light. And when I say it can handle low light, it can survive, but it definitely won't be thriving and it definitely won't be growing a ton if you put it in the darkest corner of your house. If any plant should go in the darkest corner of your house, it's probably this one because it would live, but it would probably stay about the same size as when you bought it. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm in the business of watching my plants grow and change. So if you want to see growth on your snake plant, I would say give it as much light as you possibly can. I have never seen my snake plants ever get sunburned when I had them in super high light situations. Maybe experiment a little bit with how much light they can handle, but it's definitely one of those versatile plants that can live in the dark corner or it can live in the bright sunny window. Now, watering. Sansevieria need extremely well draining soil. They honestly remind me a lot of cactus and succulents in that they just need to be left alone when it comes to watering. So the best way to do that is to give it a quick draining soil so that the moisture is not being stuck within the roots because that would be a bad thing. Roots would rot, the plant would rot, and we don't want that. So my best advice for Sansevieria watering is to check on it every couple of weeks and if the soil feels dry all the way through, then I would say water it, but until then you should just wait and make sure that that soil is super well draining. Some things that you can put in your soil to make sure that it's well draining are perlite, pumice, orchid bark, activated charcoal, and even mosquito bits more recently I've discovered. All right, so that would be all for my tips and I'd love to show you my collection now. All right, the first plant in my collection is this Moonshine Sansevieria. I got this one in a plant swap more recently and I was looking for one for a while and I saw a few around and I just wasn't willing to pay as much as they were charging. For some reason, snake plants kind of cost a lot of money where I live and I don't know why, but it's probably because honestly they'll live forever. You buy a snake plant and it'll give you life for years and years and years. So maybe it's an investment. <laughs> but I got this in a plant swap from my friend Ashley who is amazing and I just love watching it grow. It looks like there's a new leaf coming in through the bottom here and I'm just excited to see this one grow. I love the um, light color, kind of sage green leaves. This is one of my favorite colors right here. Just like this whole plant is like my favorite color and I love it. And I have it top dressed with Lekka beads basically to keep away fungus gnats. Although I never really struggle with fungus gnats with my Sansevieria because I let them dry out a lot but just to avoid any chances of it and also because I think that it looks really nice with the terracotta I kind of want to get more beads so that I can do stuff like this with more of my plants and maybe eventually convert my plants to semi-hydro because that would eliminate a lot of issues that I currently deal with. The next Sansevieria that I want to share with you is my Sansevieria Bantel Sensation. This plant I bought from somebody off of Instagram and they turned out to be kind of icky so I felt weird about this plant for a while and I almost gave it away but I'm really glad that I didn't. I actually gave away a piece of it on a plant swap but I'm glad that I kept most of the plant for me because it's actually putting out a baby which is really cute and it has a lot of white on it and I was kind of obsessed with the Bantle Sensation for a really long time and then when I actually got the chance to get one I was really excited. So this has been such an awesome grower for me. Honestly I neglected it for a really long time like I didn't water it for like a month and it put out a baby probably because it was stressed so I'm really sorry I won't do that to you again but I'm really glad that it has a baby now. My next Sansevieria is this Sansevieria whale fin. This is a double fin which is very fun and it these Sansevieria honestly look like dinosaurs to me. Like seriously they remind me of like a prehistoric being. I think they're so cool and I have a bunch of these in my house that I'm going to be selling so stay tuned for that one on Instagram 
but I just love this. I just love the way that they look. The fin is so big too. But yeah, so this is my whale fin. I've had it for only a couple of weeks and it's been really happy with me so far. So love this one a lot. Oh, this one's heavy. This is the Sansevieria that I've had the longest. I actually went to a kind of sketchy Craigslist seller who was selling plants and I got out of there really quickly, but in the process I picked up like five different Sansevieria plants and she gave them all to me for $10 total, which was insane. And so I potted them all together in this pot. This is the plant that I was noticing was having some rot at the top of the leaves. So there used to be leaves that were like this tall, if not taller, and I'm really sad that I had to cut them out, but I just like did not want to risk the health of the plant. And when those leaves do get their roots again, I will put them back in the pot, I'm sure because I'm kind of liking the look of fuller plants instead of having a lot of little plants. I really want more full plants and more big plants. So anyway, this one has been really, really consistent for me. It sat in my classroom for the entire school year and it put out a ton of growth and that was in a north facing window. So it wasn't the best lighting conditions, but it still grew a lot, which was really exciting for me. So this is really like my baby. I love it so much. Oh my goodness. Okay. I just watered this today, so it's kind of heavy, <laughs> and comparatively the pot is really small, like I can't even get these leaves all in the frame, there we go. So this is, I believe that this is a starfish sansevieria. I found this plant at a local nursery, and it was toppling over in the pot because of how top heavy it is, like you can obviously tell it's like gigantic. But that's what I loved about it. I love that it's so big. And seriously, these are so sharp. It could literally be used as a weapon. Like I feel like I own a weapon because of this plant. If somebody broke into my house, I'm not grabbing the knife, I'm grabbing this plant because it's awesome. What else can I say about it? Oh, I named it. I don't usually name my plants. Actually, I never name my plants, but I decided I wanted to name this one. Any Game of Thrones people out there will know. I decided to name it the Iron Throne. <laughs> Isn't that so cool? It really does look like the Iron Throne. Like imagine like 20 more layers of these and then it would really look like the Iron Throne. But anyway, so yes, that would be my Sansevieria collection. I'm gonna put this away. I really hope that you enjoyed watching this video and found it helpful. If you have any questions about Sansevieria or just wanna talk about your snake plants, I would love to talk with you in the comments down below. And until my next upload, have a great day and week and whatever this life has in store for you. That's a weird thing to say, but I just want you to know that I believe in you, whatever it is you're doing today. <laughs> okay, I need to end the video, bye.